Hey, I'm Jesse Broadwater. And I'm Chelsea with the Pink Arrow Project. Join together with us and other passionate archers from all around the globe in the Taking Aim at Cancer Challenge 2018 to defeat cancer in my lifetime. Everybody, this is Greg Poole with Bojunky Media. We're at the 2018 OPA event at Seven Springs Mountain Resort. Let's take a moment and look at the participants in our men's expert shootdown. Christopher Perkins, Ontario, Canada. Chance Mobile, Nashville, Tennessee. Mike Schlosser, Nut, the Netherlands. David Hauser, Creekside, Pennsylvania. Jesse Broadwater, Allenton, Florida. Hey everybody, Greg Boyer, Bo Junkie Media, BoJunkieMedia.com. We are at the 2018 OPA event here at Seven Springs Mountain Resort. This weekend's coverage is brought to you by Carbon Express Arrows. I'm here with esteemed colleague and elite pro staff manager, Darren, the main man, Christian Berry. Boom, boom. It's time for the big boys. I, we've seen some rings, but I expect a bunch of rings right here in this shoot down. I well, don't know that we'll see a lot of moving, but I expect right. some rings to be shot. Well, I expect some rings to be shot at. For sure. So g give us a rundown of what we got going on here. Mr. Chris Perkins is at 418. Chance is at 412. Mike Schlosser, 407. David Hauser and Jesse are at even 400s. So I will give Jesse a little bit of credit here. Look who his coach is. It's Mr. Ah, Donnie, Mr. Thacker. Donnie Thacker. Last time that happened, it worked out pretty good for him, but here we go. As you will see from the Vortex yardage graphic, the Grizzly will be at 54 yards. The Bigfoot from Reinhardt will be at 60. The Reinhardt Ram at 49. The Reinhardt, Wol uh, Reinhardt Wolverine at 36. And the Reinhardt Deer at 49. We've got some 14 rings going down. Yes, if you heard Mike in the background there, uh, David Hauser did confirm he's got a guaranteed two grand in his pocket yes. just for being in top five. He said, I will shoot at every 14. And he has Looks so like far told the truth. Jesse Broadwater threw down a 14 as well. Oh, nice. I like it. So the guys on the two shortest heart, well, the two most 14-able targets dropped the 14 rings. I think we're going to see. That might be a... Ooh. Ooh. Money. David Hauser getting after it. Jesse Broadwater getting after it. I think these hey, boys came to play. Good. These guys are good. These guys can shoot a little bit. We still have an arrow. Who are we waiting on down there? Chance? That's Chance Bobef. I hope somebody's got his clock. Just just coming into a minute. That's that's going to be pretty interesting. We got. Was he waiting to see what Perkins did? He might have. He might have. I can't see down there to the bear, but Chance, Chance looks like he's got a close pretty arrow good down there. Right there. So, all right, here we go. We're going to start off with Jesse Broadwater, who threw down the 14 card and immediately he had to shoot with his hat all crooked like Chad Cheneau there from <laughs> that shot. Not sure that one's going to get it. And a 14 for Jesse Broadwater right off the bat. That's what you got to do. That'll move him right to a 414 real quick. Yeah, that'll do it. Maybe he needs to have Donnie Thacker with him all the time. These David, guys are good. David bringing it to the Hauser. 14 for David Hauser. So there we go. The big boys are proving why they're the big boys. He says, you're not going anywhere, Jesse. Yeah, exactly. I'm right here. He says, us, us even boys, are we're sticking together. Mike Schlosser right, so on the go. bedded ram. Mike on the bedded ram. A good looking arrow. Did not call a 14. Mm -hmm. And Mike Schlosser with a 10. Mm, that so looked 10 close. 10 for Mike Schlosser. Not what he's going to want to see with, with uh, David and Jesse dropping no. four tens behind him. David and Jesse both move within three points of third right now. Correct. So. That changes that check a little bit. And a 10 for Chance Bobef. Chance still in a pretty good, pretty safe spot out Perkins. there, but he needs to get some rings here. Perkins Chris Perkins looks a little low to me, but we're a long way away from yeah, it here. Chris Perkins needs to... Needs to keep keep it up right here. Yeah, of course, he chance does. chance shooting that ten will help him a little bit. Ooh, and an eight, an eight for Chris Perkins. He looks very stunned by that. He does not look super happy about that. So that's not going to be what Chris Perkins is looking at. So let's go to the PSC leaderboard.
All right, Darren, here we go. Arrow number two and the men's expert here at the 2018 OPA. This weekend's coverage brought to you by Carbon Express Arrows. Well, that first round was pretty interesting there as David Hauser and Jesse shoot 14s and our leader, Chris Perkins, shoots an eight. Mm -hmm. Here on our second arrow, David Hauser and Jesse Broadwater have both dropped 14s, which is interesting because Jesse Broadwater's on the Grizzly. Yes. And that is a that that 14 is a little bit sideways. Is he shooting at it? Yes. Oh. Interesting. So here we go. These boys did not come to play around whatsoever. So David Hauser's gunning for him. Chance Bobef at no surprise, holding uh, for the longest. Chance is still at full draw. Unbedded ram. I wish I could be as patient as he is. So here we go. This is going to be. This is going to wow. be interesting. This 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 shoot down. This is going to be good. This shoot down is shaping up to be exactly what we were hoping for. I don't think we have any idea who our top three are going to be yet. Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> and a 14 for Jesse Broadwater. Two 14s in a row. That's how you move up the ladder. That's right not there. even fair. <laughs> Take the wind away, and all of a sudden Jesse's like, it's "Oh, not even fair." And I'm back. So here we go. Chris Perkins with a 10 on the big foot. Jesse Broadwater getting it done. Jesse's within eight of the lead right now with those two 14s. Donnie Thacker's probably telling me he'll have to walk home if he doesn't shoot for 14s. Chance Ooh, Bobeth Chance, with an eight. Chance backs up a little bit there. That's putting not going to be what he's looking at. That's not what, that's not what those guys. Now, however, Chance, is, Chance and, Chance and uh, Chris are coming into the, and a 12 for Mike Slosher. So Chance, everyone, they can clap for 12s too. Right. That's they, a great shot. Yeah, it's like, this is, this is the men's expert. We don't <laughs> clap for 12s. We can only clap for 14s. Ooh, they're taking a good look at it. I hope he hits it. I want to see him get on a run. David Hauser going for a 14 again. Like you said to Darren, he's going for all the 14s and an oh. eight. Eight for David Hauser. Let's go to the PSC leaderboard and see how those 14s are shaking things up. All right, Darren, here we go. Air number three and the men's expert. We're here at the 2018 OPA at Seven Springs. This weekend's coverage brought to you by Carbon Express Arrows. As you can see from the PSC leaderboard there, things are a-changing. For sure. Uh, David Hauser was not super stoked with that last arrow call. He thought it was a 14. He's still looking back at the target wondering why it was called an eight. I, I can't see it clearly, but the guys have a way better look right there at the target, but he thought it was there. So I don't see Jesse Broadwater throwing a 14 down on the on the. Hauser with a 14, he says. It's true to his word. He's going to shoot at every one of them. Yep, sure is. Hauser calling the 14 again. David threw a 14 card down. David's going for all of them. So here we go. Curious to see what I haven't really seen a ring on the Bigfoot yet, have we? I don't think so. And Jesse uh, Ray Young may have 12 Ray, that earlier. Yes, you're right. Ray Young might have. So here we go. Jesse Broadwater looks like he has a low arrow there on the. Ooh. Yeah, hey, Jesse's not going to like that one. No, not at all. 14s are going to go bye-bye. I think David's is a little low, too. So Mike here we go. Slosher Mike Slosher, 10 for Mike. I think things are going to even out here real I quick. I think so. Here we go, Chance Bobef with a 12 on the Wolverine. Chris Perkins with a 10. Chris needs to get some rings here, man. Yeah, that uh, that gave two points back to Chance there. That just that decreased Chris's lead to four. Correct. Jesse Broadwater with an eight. Not what Jesse was looking for there <laughs> after back-to-back -back 14s. No. I mean, that still puts him within 10 of the leader, but not what he was looking for. Donnie didn't tell him to do the right thing there. We're going to blame Donnie on that right. one. 
And an eight. Eight for David Hauser. So that's back-to-back -back eights for David mm -hmm. Hauser. Let's go to the PSC leaderboard. All right, Darren, here we go. This is arrow number four in the men's expert here at the OPA at Seven Springs Mountain Resorts. Weekend's coverage brought to you by Carbon Express Arrows here with Darren Christianberry, Elite Pro Staff Manager. We just get, got awful exciting there for a minute, but that third arrow kind of uh, brought things back down to reality. Yeah, these guys started off stroking some rings there, and now they slipped up and shot an eight, but, you know, being super aggressive, doing what they need to do. Uh, but going backwards, you just you can't make a mistake here. And I, and I don't see any 14 rings down, not even for Chris Perkins on the Wolverine. What about how Hauser's got one down? That I can't see where. Oh, you're right, he does. I couldn't see it behind his guy's leg. So, yes, Hauser's shooting for a 14 on the bedded ram. Hauser shot for a 14 on Bigfoot, which is interesting because the dot's substantially bigger on Bigfoot. Yes. So here we go. Mike Slosher. Mikey on the deer or on the bear. Yes. Mikey with a 12. Well, he's climbing his way back into there. Yep. Puts him at 451. David Hauser on the Bigfoot going for the 14. And a 10. So he saves a 10 out of that. That's, I mean, if you're going to miss a 14, you. That's a good. That's a good miss. Yes, it is. Not that you want to say that a whole bunch, but no. I would have never guessed that. I don't think Jesse's going to be too happy with this one. And another eight. So Jesse Broadwater goes 14, 14, 8, 8. Mm -hmm. Perkins has got a good looking arrow there. Chris Perkins with a 12. So Chris gets the bonus ring he was looking for there finally. That's that's big for him too because I think Chance may have backed up on this arrow right here. And an eight for Chance Bobeff. That's going to be his second eight of the round. Not the direction Chance is looking for. Let's go to the PSC leaderboard. Here we go, Darren. This is arrow number five in the men's expert here at the OPA at Seven Springs. This weekend's coverage brought to you by Carbon Express Arrows. Things have been a little bit interesting here. Chris Perkins is holding on to a pretty good lead coming into the last couple arrows, but Jesse Broadwater started off, started off incredibly hot with two 14s, but backed it up with two eights. For sure, yeah. He, uh, just in like a lion, out like a lamb. I mean, I know that's kind of cruel to say there, but I know he didn't want those. He didn't want to go backwards. He was doing right. what he needed to do, and yep. it stopped really quick. David and Jesse throw down 14s on this one. Jesse on the Wolverine, da David on the on the Ram. I don't know. Jesse's, Jesse's been hitting, hitting low. low. Jesse's hitting low. That's three in a row. Jesse's hit mm -hmm. low on. Yeah. So here we go. It's Chris unlike Perkins. Him. Chris Perkins with a 10. Which at that point, what else? That's all he needs to do, really. Yeah. I mean, th there was a serious threat to crit the first, to Chris the first two, three arrows. Right. He he was able to sustain through that, but at this point, there's really no reason for him to be gunning. No, no. Keep it in double digits and see what happens. Eight for Jesse Broadwater. It's going to be three eights in a row for Jesse. That's going to end his day. Yes. 
David Hauser looking for a 14 on the Reinhardt Ram. With an eight. Boy, this guy started out hot. Here we go, Mikey Slosher on the on the Bigfoot. Mikey's got some serious game. He does. He's got a bunch of it. Any game with a bow and arrow, he's he's got some game. And a 12 for Mike Slosher. That's what you're looking for. That's what you're looking for on the Bigfoot. Chance needs a ring here. I'm not going to lie. Wow, that puts him. That puts Mikey by my math. 10. 10 for Chance. Puts him at 460. That puts Mikey within three points of Perkins. It absolutely does. Let's go to the PSE leaderboard. All right, Darren, here we go. This is our sixth and potentially final arrow here in the men's expert at the OPA. This weekend's coverage brought to you by Carbon Express Arrows. Mikey Slosher is up first. Oh, Chance is. is Chance he? is. Chance is at full draw. Oh, yes. Chance is, and he did call the 14. Nice. Good move. I was looking at the group of guys behind him, not the one behind the umbrella. <laughs> Guaranteed podium for Chance. Yes. He needs a ring here. A little bit of oohs and ahs from the crowd mm, there, so that's be probably under. not going to be a not going to be the result he was looking for. So here we go. Let's get the call on Chance Bobeff's effort. Guaranteed third, no matter what. So yeah. an eight for Chance Bobeff. That's probably going to probably going to put him into third spot. Mm -hmm. It's not that Mikey Slosher can't shoot a five, but Mike's going to hit the target. <laughs> there's a there's a fairly high likelihood of that. Yeah, he needs a 14 right here. He has to shoot a 14 to have a chance. I don't see he's thrown a 14 down. That doesn't mean he didn't. It's got Paul Tedford out there. So Mike is not shooting for a 14. So what's the math look like on that? Well, if he shoots a 10, he's at 473, and then Perkins would just have to shoot a 5 to an 8 to win. That makes a, not a lot of sense. I, I, don't, I think. <laughs> Does that sound like he was trying to protect second place? Uh, I don't know. I'm confused, but Mike had, like a, it. Mike had a plan, and he did what he did. Looks like Mike was going for second. I guess he's happy with 20 grand. So Mike gets a 12. So that's going to uh, that's going to secure second place for. Mike, Perkin needs an eight to win this. Yes. So it definitely looks like Mike Slosher just went for second place and get that check, which is, I can't blame him no, for it. No, guaranteed it. And so yep. here, Chris Perkins, after all this effort, all he needs to do is hit one eight to and win to, it. To be honest, it's really kind of smart, I guess, now that I look at it, because if Mikey makes a mistake, it's going right. He drops 10 grand if he makes a mistake. Absolutely. So now all Chris Perkins needs to do is close this out with an eight and call her good. Chris Perkins. All right. Chris Perkins is going to be your 2018 OPA Men's Expert Champion. This is your Men's Expert Shot of the Shootdown. This would be Chris Perkins' 12 on the Wolverine to increase his lead to eight points going into the final arrow, secured the victory for him. That's correct. I mean, Chris came into this, could have, could have gone for a lot, wasn't hitting some of the dots that he wanted to, but what he did do is he didn't make any huge mistakes to drop back to those guys. None of those guys were able to close the, the gap far enough. Uh, Mike Slosher had an opportunity at the end to put a little bit of pressure on him, ended up not doing it, secured second for him, but all Chris Perkins needed to do was shoot an eight for the win. All right, Greg Poyer, Bo Junkie Media. We're with your 2018 OPA Men's Expert Champion. That got a little bit, uh, that got a little bit tight there towards the end, brother. Yeah, um, I really don't know what to tell you. Uh, I broke six great shots. You know, uh, you know, I was kind of discussing with Brandon again. You know, same strategy as today. You know, add a few. Don't want to shoot anything out the bottom. Surprised on the first one that it was an eight. I mean, it <laughs> broke good, but uh, everything hit behind the pin. I was getting kind of a little frustrated a little bit there with the right. Um, 
but uh, towards the end, you know, like I said, did what I had to do, and and you know, this is uh, it's kind of surreal. You know, it's I've worked hard um, with the switch, and yeah, I I don't know what else to tell you. Well, it's 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 good to see some of that emotion coming out of you, buddy. You've certainly earned it. So, we talked yesterday a little bit about kind of the year you've had, uh, both both your own expectations, the expectations with the change, shooting at your level. Uh, there's 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 really no off years. There's no downtime. You're 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 shooting at the highest competitive level the world of archery has to offer. So, so talk with us a little bit about the year you've had and kind of you know what this win means for you moving forward. Uh, you know, the year I've had, it's, you know, like we talked, you know, on the first day, it's it's been a transition. Um, and I thought it was going to go a lot smoother than uh, than kind of where we are right now, you know. Again, like I told you, as we were three quarters of the way through the season, I'm kind of getting frustrated at myself and, and um, you know, working my butt off to try and find something that's, you know, trying to get something that's working, you know, both, um, I guess, mentally and you know, with the setups, and right now, like I said, I'm finding stuff that's working with the bows and is working really well, and, and I've kind of, uh, you know, built those platforms on the last few setups that I've had. With the last couple of ASAs, they've been, you know, the, the scores have definitely shown um, my improvements there, and uh, here, I don't, I just, I, I didn't really prepare as much as maybe I thought I should have, you know, and, you know, like, again, like we talked about the first day, maybe I was overprepared for the other ones and just uh, putting too much pressure on myself. But all in all, the weekend went uh, as smooth as I could, uh, you know, make it. And, you know, I'm I'm super proud to come away with this one. This one, uh, last year I shot extremely well here and, and uh, just had a misfortunate uh, event that uh, caught my blade on my pant. And, and, you know, it's just it's sometimes the way it goes, you know. It's just, uh, you know, it's, again, I, I'm kind of lost for words at the moment right now. All right, so, so let me ask the obvious question, not just mentally but confidence-wise and everything. What does this win do for, for Chris Perkins uh, you know, moving forward as far as those things go? Uh, it finally shows um, the people are watching and, the you know, watching my transition that, you know, the work is starting to pay off. Um, for me, for me, it, it's huge. Any, you know, any win for anybody is huge, you know. Absolutely. And, um, you know, for me, it's just I come out real hot at the beginning. You know, I won Iowa with it and, um, you know, just kind of, I wouldn't really say fell off, but it just kind of plateaued a little bit, and that just kind of, again, you know, made me, made me a little frustrated, and um, just kind of didn't really know what direction to go with setups, and I didn't know if it was me, you know, and uh, just with this one, I knew I had a good bow. My mental game was there. Um, both days knew what I had to do and just chipped away at it. Awesome, man. Well, congratulations. I'm extremely happy for you, and uh, just goes to show you that when you keep working at it, things are going to work out for you. Indeed, for sure. All right, buddy, congratulations. Thank you again.